yesterday like last night we had my celebration going away dinner party slash thingamajig boss babe cup see this is really cute i resigned a week ago and i'm just kind of like but i was getting to that point where it was becoming very dreading to me to go into work and like you feeling that feeling where you want to cry before you go into work because you're on salary they're not gonna pay you overtime but they're requiring you to work overtime that's when i had me a little work boom a whole lot of work scandals it was a juicy tea at this job whole lot of good stuff but ultimately i have to do what's best for me in this season like stay the paper baby then stay out the way stay the paper stay out the way stay the paper baby then stay out the way stay the paper baby then stay out the way okay so today is saturday yeah yesterday like last night we had my celebration going away dinner party slash thingamajig it's this restaurant near our um our job like literally like right next to our job every time somebody resign or quit we throw like a get together uh there it's a bar it's like a bar so we be deep as fuck at this damn restaurant. Sometimes I go on lunch dates there too, like during the week. So I had a whole lot of drinks, shots, and love, and et cetera, et cetera. Um, one of my former coworkers, she's having a housewarming tonight. So I'm like, okay, let me go out, grab something. I already need to get myself something too. Between you and I, I need to go get some pads and tampons. And I'm so ready to take my hair out. But I said, um, it at least needs to stretch until this like this weekend after all these functions and festivities. Oh no, I got, oh! The police, why thought the police was trying to get me? Okay, literally, I was like, uh, should I put on my, <laughs> the police, I was like, listen, I just turned down this motherfucking street. What the fuck did I do? Okay, I see the lights. They got their little sound on. I'm like, bitch, what did I do? Like, life is just filled with so much excitement out of nowhere. It's on the tree. Let's see. I literally only came here for one thing. One thing and one thing only. I need, I need nail polish remover. That's what I need. Everything looks so thrown around. They're letting the place go, I see. Okay, so getting nail polish from the Dollar Tree was a fail. Um, but that's okay. I found some really, really cute, like, little shot cups as a part of, like, the housewarming gift um, for the girl I was telling y'all about. So, it's, like, some really cute little, like, shot cups. They got words on it and shit. So, I got, like, four of those. But I still got to get some more shit. So, I guess I got to go straight to Walmart. So, it's this Walmart near me. But I don't like going to this Walmart. I call it the ghetto Walmart because it's fucking ghetto and they never got registers open so the lines be wrapped around the fucking store like we at the damn club and then on the other side of that there's this other walmart that i do like going to but it's pretty out the way like it's further i don't want to say it's far but it is further um i just don't feel like driving all the way over there so this is what I'm doing right now. I'm kind of like driving towards the ghetto Walmart. I'm gonna take a look at the parking lot. That's what I see. I see I'm gonna look at the parking lot and that will determine. Something tells me I'm still not gonna, like if I don't find a parking spot fairly easy, I'm not doing this because I hate this Walmart already. So I'm just not, I'm not gonna deal with any of its uh, shenanigans for today. It just looked like it's a lot of people up in there. Like, I could just feel it. I could feel like that it's a lot of people up in him.
I'm gonna turn him. <laughs> Piss that car off. Somebody tells me they was looking for a parking spot. <laughs> it's giving no for me. It's giving us a no for me. As I'm looking around for parking spaces, it's giving. Don't think about it too much, too much, too much. Yeah, like that's honestly what it's giving because I don't have to get a lot of stuff. I only need some pads, some tampons, nail polish remover, and whatever else I'm going to get for the girl. <sighs> it's a shame how far I got to drive out just to go get that. Pads, tampons, nail polish remover, and um, I probably was gonna get her a bottle of wine, uh, wine like the Stella Rosa. Get her a Stella Rosa bottle and some candles. I was gonna go to the mall, but the mall is a drive. Like if I want to go to um, Bath and Body Works, but you know who got good candles? Um, Ross. Ross and Marshalls be having some pretty good candles. Like, I was going to get some candles, a bottle of wine, and then I got these little shot cups. The shot cups were an impulse buy, but they were so cute. So, I was like, okay, girl, these is cute. You don't like these. You don't like these, you know? So, I officially made it to my destination. Now, I'm like, it's time to throw on some lip gloss. Y'all know, lip gloss is going to always save the day, honey. It's gonna always say the day. I need to get a new one. Cause well, I had another one. It was pink. I don't know where that one went. Like I lost that one. And now I'm just down to this one. So boom. Lip gloss action. Hmm. I feel like I look super glowy today. And I feel like it's because I've had some time to catch up on my rest. Since I resigned. I'm like, okay. My energy. I need to take back my energy because I just hated that I wasn't having time for myself i felt like my mental health was kind of declining a bit i'm like yep it's time to go ahead and wrap this all up so i feel like i look super like refreshed like replenished um I'm about to go into walmart i'm so mad because like i need nail polish remover for my toes my toenail polish is kind of chipped and i do got the toes out and this is so not like me like if my feet not done, my feet are not out. I'm her. And my feet have to always be done. But I've taken a break from gel polish because gel polish has been thinning out, like, my toenails. Like, how they take it off. You know how they drill off your gel polish? Well, I don't know if this happens everywhere. They used to soak them off for me. But then they started drilling them off. And it'll be like, <sighs> my toenail will always be chipping which would require me to wear tips. And I don't like wearing tips on my toes. So to make a long story short, I took a break from gel polish and I've only been doing regular polish. But the issue with regular polish is it's only gonna be on for like a week, a week and a half, and then it go to looking fugly. And that's where we're at. So that's why I was like, okay, let me go get some nail polish remover. So I look cute as fuck. I look thick, I smell good, but my toenails are chipped. So let's pray that nobody like a no man come up to me and um is trying to talk to me because he's gonna look at these toes and he's gonna be like what the what the and i got my favorite perfume on i don't like to spray too much of it but it's like how can you not like <sighs> okay so like i said look good smell good all that but right now my toes my toes got me unhappy so, and I gotta put some polish on them before her little housewarming thing. So, let me hurry. Time is of the essence. Stepping up their nail game. Yeah. I would like these. These are cute. 
Nail polish remover. I like they got a new burst set. This is why I don't need to be at Walmart. I'm picking up so much stuff that's not even on the the pickup list. And then now I'm on this other aisle. I got a bunch of cute stuff on this aisle too. I feel like I've gotten her enough of stuff at this point, especially like what's on her her list, her registry. Um, anything else that I buy is like completely an overkill. So I'm gonna show y'all what I got so far. Okay, don't worry about my pads and tampons. I even feel like I did too much there as well. Like, why do I got so many? Um, so I got these two cute candles. And they both smell good and I feel like they're aesthetically pleasing. So I did two candles and then oh this cute sign. Let me show y'all. Oh I don't want to mess it up. So it says one o'clock and then you can like drop it. And then it says coffee time. I think that's so cute. And it could be in like, I don't know, the kitchen or whatever area she'll have her drinks and stuff at. And then, let me see. I found this Boss Babe cup. See, this is really cute. I feel like I low-key want to get it for myself. But y'all know I didn't come in here for myself at this point. Um, but this is so cute. I think we all can agree. And it was the last one. So I'm kind of like, I don't know. And then I picked up these makeup brushes. Now, this was just like me just picking up shit. Because I thought it was cute. But I really don't think that I need them. But I didn't see the price either. So I was like, let me see the price. And if the price is right, I just might, okay? And of course, y'all know I came in here for nail polish remover. I think between the shot cups, the candles, that sign, and then maybe I could get her like um, a, bottle, a bottle of wine. I think she'll be good then at that point. I feel like I've been out spending money all day. Like, this is beyond me. And I still got a pack of shit in a bag and head there. I'm 30 minutes late, but I feel like how her party's from 6 to 10. You know, black people not getting exactly at 6. You know, maybe our Caucasian sisters and brothers, but she already know. Black folks getting there, Sam, Sam 30. You know, so I'm like, all right, let me charge my phone pack this shit up and figure out what i'm gonna wear because i'm not gonna wear this so let me go figure out something real quick okay so yeah i'm trying to see how tonight is gonna go because my phone is not even fully charged hopefully it charges good while i'm in the car i gotta go because i'm not trying to be like dead late to this shit i want to be fashionably late well i'm pretty much trying to show up two hours late yeah right now i'm getting ready to go to the the gym and I'm just like, I need to soak in the word. Today is one of those days where I just feel like I need to soak in the word. Like, try. I need to put on, um, I need to put on some type of ring light or something. I need some lighting, yeah? Eh, this lighting didn't really work. I mean, I could make it a little bit more brighter, but it's not really going to help. Um, so yeah, it's, what time? I don't know. This thing, it's been screwed. Okay, it's about 1230. It's 1230 something. Um, yeah. I honestly should have been out of the house by now because, yeah, I should have been out of the house. But I'm going to this two o'clock fitness class. 
so I was like, all right, I'll start vlogging. On a brighter note, on a brighter note, um, we were able to get my computer exporting videos. So now it's kind of like the plan is, um, the plan is getting these damn videos out to y'all. And don't mind me, y'all. I'm trying to put on my goddamn clothes. <laughs> I'm trying to put on my clothes. But the plan, honestly, at this point is getting these videos out to you guys expeditiously. Like, um, yeah. I think now, I, I, now that my computer is exporting videos, I'm kind of like, all right, I need to get the schedule of March going. I need to get a schedule for how do we want to release these videos? What days do I want to release the videos? Um, And just create a plan around that. Because as y'all know, everything's always planned with me, always and forever. You can probably see my, my whiteboard there. I got a whiteboard where I just be jotting down all my ideas. I need to, um, I need to breathe. I feel so excited. Like, I feel like a huge weight has been taken off my shoulders being able to get my laptop exporting videos. So what I'm going to do first is I'm just going to release my birthday vlogs from November because I filmed them. I edited them, but I never put them out because my computer was having issues. So I feel like those two vlogs... It's going to get, like, engagement back to my channel. Just being able to post these videos, promote via Instagram and TikTok, and just kind of start warming the people up. And then I want to do, like, a March reset kind of vlog. So this is either going to be a part of the March reset vlog or the one about fixing my computer. Because I'm dead eyes going to make a vlog about my computer issue. Like, I have to. Yeah, it's pretty bad. <laughs> <laughs> you know like if i get a macbook i'm kind of just running away from the issue and then once i try to get all my files over onto a macbook i'm not sure if stuff is going to convert over correctly because i'd be probably using final cut pro instead of adobe premiere i'm not sure um so these are some of the things that i was concerned about but that's why I really want to try to resolve this. And then ultimately, if I have to get another computer, I, if that's what it'll, it'll come down to. Just me getting like a MacBook and seeing if that will resolve the issue. Exactly. But don't worry, I've already resolved this problem for you or like over here. But, uh... This kind of works. I ain't go to FSU, but I went to school in college, in Tally. I went to FAMU next door neighbors i feel like this goes more with my outfit i'm getting ready because y'all i gotta eat and this is my last day eating bullshit so i'm gonna go to chick-fil-a and i'm gonna eat some chick-fil-a and then that's gonna give me enough of time before the 2 p.m class to digest it all and then burn it all off isn't that amazing <laughs> Isn't that amazing? Y'all, I'm so crazy. Because it's like, girl, if you're trying to work out, why are you eating bullshit? Well, as long as you're in a calorie deficient, right? That's what they be saying, calorie deficient. As long as you're in a calorie deficient, like, aren't you okay? Yeah? My hair has really grown, y'all. Like, bitch, it's giving... Don't play with her. It's giving don't play with her. So... My hair looks full. I'm wearing a pink, pink, like, I don't really have a whole lot of gym clothes. And that's another thing. I really want to go shopping for gym clothes. So, I'm wearing this jacket. And I got some pink, like, some pink and, like, maroon um, gym pants on. So, that's my makeup for today. Ooh, look at it. See, look at that. Do, 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 do. Okay, so... I'm about to throw on my sneakers and get in the car because time is of the essence and I'll be here vlogging for like ever. So I got this spray or whatever and I like it a lot. Um, this is like my fitness spray. Q 
keep it in my gym bag. I got my gym bag over here. And, um, yeah. I like this because it, it smells athletic and feminine. And it's like a nice. I don't want to say fresh out of the shower, but it's just like a fresh, fresh smell. So I like that. I think it's really good for girlies that be in the gym and stuff like that. So this is like the first time I'm really getting out of the house today, but let alone this week. Like, I feel like I've been going to the gym here and there on the weekend. Like, I started this weekend, but today is the 7th. So, it's officially been a week of March. And I really didn't work out up until this weekend that just passed. So, I think that was like the 4th and the 5th. Them first three days, I was handling business. I was handling business. You feel me? So, my days were really filled between running errands getting shit done that i had neglected and um this shit with my computer just adobe has taken up so much of my fucking time so now we're finally free we're free that's where we're at we're free so i resigned last wednesday yeah i resigned a week ago and i'm just kind of like now I'm doing a lot of things that I need to do. Like, yeah, my job brought me money, but it also gave me a bunch of stress and it didn't have good work-life balance. And um, that's something I really do value in this uh, chapter of my life. Um, I've been learning a lot about myself during uh, my hiatus from YouTube and just social media in general. Um, I can't do the whole, like, it's not even, I realize it's not so much the nine to five itself. Like true, I hate working. I feel like I'm a person that truly loves entrepreneurship. I truly love being able to do what I want to do. I love all that shit. But then you got the reality of what life is. Hold on, let me make sure nobody's over here. Okay, so then you got the reality of how life actually is and bills are still going to come. You're still going to want to do things. You're still going to um have stuff that you need to invest in even when it comes down to your business so you need stable income coming in like you need some type of money coming in let me put on my seatbelt so um what i've come to realize is i'm not no eight hours a day like i'm not a full-time worker kind of girl i'm not a full-time worker kind of girl i enjoy three to four days part-time like stuff like that i've had so many jobs i'm not gonna hold y'all i'm one of them people i'm a certified job hopper i have a very irregular work history when it comes to jobs because i either don't keep them long enough okay good this car is getting out of my way i don't keep them long enough or they just don't be for me like stuff like that my longest job that i've ever held was amongst like my first job and I was in high school and that was Old Navy and I worked there for two years. And mind you, what's that? The weekends, you know, like I'm working on the weekends. I may have a couple days, like my senior year, I remember senior year. I probably had a couple days throughout the week. And even then, what, what's that? Three, four days throughout the week. Um, summer breaks is when they had me the most, but I've never been a full-time worker and then so you got Old Navy and then my second job that I had the longest which was for one year in 2.4 okay. miles turn left okay Siri I had to kind of figure out because I realized I was coming up on where I think Chick-fil-a is and then now it looks like the police are coming through okay so yeah as I was saying my longest jobs like, I really had to sit and jot down. I really had to sit and jot down and be like, what all jobs have I had and how long did I keep them? My longest jobs were part-time jobs. And then I've only held two jobs for a year or more. That was Old Navy. And then that was when I worked at the hotel when I was in college. And I started off part-time there. 
I started off part-time and then I eventually became full-time and then once I became full-time I noticed that's around the time that I resigned like I quit and it was a lot of stress it was a lot of like a toxic work environment plus I got school I had a whole lot going on you've seen if you're new to my channel go watch my nine to thriving series I think I highlighted in my first episode episode one of my nine to thriving series so to make a long story short even with the hotel, initially I was only working three days out of the week. I took all my classes Tuesdays and Thursdays. So I was still a full-time student, but I only went to campus twice out of the week. So I was working Monday, Wednesday, Friday. And I believe I, I don't recall working weekends at the hotel. I really think I told them I can't do weekends because I need to study. <laughs> I need to study. I don't think I work weekends at the hotel. And then towards the end of my like when I became a supervisor because I started out as just like a front desk agent um I became full-time and then it was a whole lot of trying to call me in that's that's when I realized I don't want no job where I got this super high ass position because bitch it's too much responsibilities you're just an employee with a lot more responsibilities than everybody else and being that our hotel was understaffed and people would like just not come to their shifts like they would just be quitting without saying shit they was expecting me to fill in people's shifts baby <laughs> so like yeah with different office like jobs that i've worked i never kept them for long like i probably had them two to three months for top like at tops um i can't really do that whole just sitting at a desk calling people talking to people People be aggravating the fuck. Like, any type of customer service, sales, technical support jobs that require you to kind of just be sitting all damn day. No, I never kept those jobs long. So, um, I eventually... This job that I just left, this was like my longest sitting job, desk job. It was sales. It was for a cruise line. And... um. Why I'm over here at Chick-fil-A and people can't drive? People are uh, skipping. People at Chick-fil-A trying to skip. No, y'all got to come around. Baby, y'all skipping the line. So, long story short, I'm going to let this one car get in front of me. But, baby, that other car, they grits. Y'all better loop this bitch around. This Chick-fil-A got a terrible drive through I'm already not liking it. I'm already not liking it. So, yeah, I had to put a little... A little something on the lips a little vaseline because um she better get in when she fit in behind them other folks you know how you let one people one person i let one person skip but baby uh we not finna do this how all these people just skipping no y'all this line this line is wrapped honey y'all better get in when y'all fit in go go to the back of the line because y'all skipping okay so the job that I just left, this was my longest desk job. I love the culture. I love the people. It's an amazing company. They got, oh shit. <laughs> it's an amazing company. They have amazing benefits. But like, <laughs> when you're, when you try to find the words that I learned the meaning of you ever like uh, when you're watching videos about how to handle interviews or when you just quit a job how do you tell like the new employer this is my first time experiencing like firsthand what it means when someone says my values did not align with the company like this was my first experience really like my values just didn't simply align with the company I value work-life balance I value being able to have time for myself, time to myself. I need moments of being creative. Yeah, I blew my horn because why y'all, y'all finna let people get in front of y'all. Loop this bitch around. Stop playing. Act like y'all hungry. Please act like y'all actually want to eat some food. Thank you. Okay, so this was my first time, like, the job <laughs> has an extreme and excessive work-life culture. The culture's cool. 
this is my first job where <clears throat> like your first couple months when you're in like the honeymoon phase of the job i was super excited i was like wow this is different they're giving us food every other day like they ordering us food it's a lot of different prizes and shit being won it's people really making money with the company but those people are sacrificing a lot of time for this company um my schedule was 11 to 8 but they want you to come in a couple hours before your shift and it's highly recommended for you to stay after and the highly recommended you could tell is very pressured it's almost as if like you ever see like those uh like the movie what that movie was get out when they smiling at you real hard like the real fucking crazy type of smile and it's really on some like you're gonna start feeling yourself being targeted when you're not falling in line with that culture I don't like nobody trying to pressure me or force me to do shit. So that's one. Let's get that. Let's nip that on in the bud. That's number one. So I was definitely like one of their little trouble, trouble childs. Like I was their, their trouble child. But everybody loved me, especially my director. So whenever a manager had an issue with me, my director, to this day, I'm just like, bro, my director's so fine. I loved him. He's a cool ass white guy. Funny charismatic i could go on and on all day about him but this video is about me right now um i love my director and my director loved me like the director of the company so at the end of the day like i'm gonna go above everybody head and go straight to the director like if i got an issue with something i'm gonna go to his office i'm not talking to you people i'm going to the the guy who really writes the checks bitch in this motherfucker so to make a long story short I left because it just simply did not align with me right now and I really need this time to myself like you can feel I'm learning to just listen to my inner body and my inner self hold on I'm finally at the window hello how are you I'm good how are you um I get the names you order please mo mo I want to get I think it's the number one the sandwich but I want the cheese on it the deluxe I want to do the pepper jack cheese and no tomatoes. So, number one. Uh-huh. Pepper jack cheese, no tomatoes. Uh-huh, and the drink will be a sweet tea. Mm-hmm. Do I pay with you now or up at front? One moment, it'll be a few Okay. I think his um, little computer shut down because he's looking a little scared. But yeah, I'll come up. Oh, you want me to come up a little more? Okay, I'll come up. Let me... Hold on, y'all. Let me get my card out. Okay, so... I'm looping around. I ain't gonna lie. Chick-fil-A, even though when they line be long, they be having them a, um, a little method. They be having a method to get this line going. But it's, it's just a very tight, like, parking lot setting, if that makes sense. So, I forget where I was at before I was giving out my food order but I enjoyed the company I left off on a great foot but I was getting to that point where it was becoming very dreading to me to go into work and like you feeling that feeling way you want to cry before you go into work you feeling really agitated you feeling really like I can't do this like your soul is having a tantrum and it's just like I can't do this I can't do this it was becoming really excruciating and then on top of all that I was starting to get back pains because I was sitting a lot at work so then it will become like I'm just standing up and it's some people at the job they got standing like those standing desk thingies but it's like why do I have to invest my own a hundred two hundred dollars into this thing and also i started having issues with my eye because i'm looking at a screen for so much because i'm practically pulling doubles damn near every day for this company um it's like my eye was getting strained and i had to google it it's a term for it but it's like and one of the symptoms for this term was back aches and neck aches like i would have so much tension in my back my neck um my eye i felt like my vision was getting a little blurry in one eye but whole time according to like 
this is common for people that work like computer like jobs or like technical tech jobs where you got to look at a computer screen for hours in and hours out it's like your eye be getting tired like it's you're causing a strain in your eye once that started happening that started happening around month six and i resigned at seven months um although i had been with the company for eight months total because training was remote and it was for a month but me being in my position, I was there for seventh month, seven months. So at the job, they do this thing like, they call you like a R1, R2, R3, all the way up until R11. And then once you're at your 12 month, I believe you're just a veteran and you'll have a veteran one. And then it goes all the way up to three. But like, yeah, so it's like you'll have veterans. So then you got rookie teams, you got a trainee team and you got veteran teams. I had got to a place where I had graduated. I was on a veteran team. I didn't care a whole lot for this veteran team that I got promoted to. Um, but I, I resigned as a R7. So I was there for seven months. But I was with the company for eight months. Again, amazing company. Really cool. Benefits, like, as far as, like, the uh, dental, the health, and all these different things. Uh, I just did not like the work-life balance and I also didn't like that you're not paid overtime dun, dun, dun. You're not paid overtime, so you're on salary and They're not gonna pay you overtime, but they're forcing you to pay overtime. Did I just get my card in there? so it's like because you're on salary they're not going to pay you overtime, but they're requiring you to work overtime. My, I couldn't grasp my mind around it. And they try to get you on the sales, but think about it. All the sales you're going to be making, all the money you're going to be making from doing all this, you know, overtime, you're going to be getting sales. That's partially true. There are some people that break their back for the company and they're making really good money. There are some people breaking their back for the company, but they're not really talented in sales. So it's not really equaling out much. I feel like they're just probably just about paying themselves over time. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like you're breaking even almost. It's not really giving it a plus. And then another thing is um, people, we're selling vacations. We're selling cruises. We're helping people book cruises. People be canceling their vacations. So when somebody cancels their vacation, it comes out of your next check's commission. So they also, they really don't address the fact that a lot of people are just on this rat race. Hold on. Y'all, I just got my food and it is so fucking good, honey. It is so good. All right. And this is the first thing I'm eating for today. That's so bad but it is what it is so as i was saying before i don't know i left off i feel like there were key contributing factors on why i wanted to resign i didn't like that they wanted us pretty much at work 24 7. this job is ideal for people who really don't just have a life outside of work and people who like, if you in a bind, you know what I'm saying? Like, you in a bind, you need to get some money, and you don't do nothing else. Like, you already used to working, like, long hours. That's ideal for you. But it's salary plus commissions. Our salary is not high at all. Um, It's 22000 That's our base salary. 22000 so $11 an hour plus commissions. Commissions is cute. Um, you get 5% off Well 5% from all your sales But it's not like you're getting a full 5% You're getting a portion Of that sale And you're getting 5% off of that portion Because you could sell a vacation that's like $12,000 You know like a two week cruise Shit Going around the country and Europe Flights and all that included Yeah people be spending that bread All they gotta put down is a deposit You know what I'm saying So um the cheapest cruises you booking gonna be like two thousand dollars and that was for like a three-day cruise so 
So people making money like five percent off of ten gram, but you're not getting like I said the whole off the ten gram. It's probably gonna be like six gram. You probably only only gonna get like five percent off six grand or half of that five grand. But neither here nor there is people that's really they trying to book, they trying to sell. So let's just say you made three hundred dollars right off a cruise, right? Let's just say three hundred dollars you made off selling one cruise. A month passed, two months passed, and that person canceled. On whatever month you're currently in. They taking three hundred dollars about that commission. It's people that be having thousands of dollars gone out of their commission check. So every month they're going hard trying to just book, 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 and they working hard as fuck because they know people gonna cancel. And it people not canceling because of you, so to say. Sometimes people just don't see it in their budget, like. Even though people are traveling and shit, we still in a recession. So motherfuckers booking shit off the strength of they want to go. But when that final payment date start approaching, people be canceling. They calling you to cancel. They going online to cancel. They calling the inbound fucking line to cancel. So I started to see like this still is a rat race. Like, yeah, people making a lot of money. But you can make 10 grand one month, but you had three grand the next month. You know what I'm saying? Only the veterans really had that shit on lock to where, like, they know how to keep striving to get consistent money. And again, veterans been for the company a year or more. So, you know, you around people that's V2s, V3s, you know, they've been with the company three or more years and shit. People been with this company 12 years and shit. So, it's money to be made, but it just wasn't for me. And then on top of that, the commute. The commute, bitch. I'm driving 40 minutes. 40 minutes, y'all. Driving 40 minutes to get to work. Let me show y'all this sandwich, though. <laughs> it look like the pictures, y'all. Chick-fil-A doing a thing. I'm so hungry. So... The job want me there early, right? I was never no 9 o'clock, 9 a.m. girl. That's not happening. That's why I chose my... I chose this job because I like the whole 11 to 8 aspect. Now y'all want me here at 9 o'clock? What do you do to that? <laughs> what do you do to that? So... Boom. Ooh. That's so good, like... You ain't eat nothing all day. Honey, hold on. And then I'm gonna be out here jogging. I hope I don't throw up. I'm gonna be out here running and working out and shit. But I gave myself some time. I'm sitting in the parking lot of where the, the little spot at. So long story short though. I would try to get to work 10.30 the earliest. So I'm here 30 minutes before my show. Cause they was making a big deal about it when I was coming in to work 10.52. 10:55. They be like, "Oh, we got a morning meeting at 10:50. You late to the meeting, so you late to work." So they was on my ass about that. So I started coming in early. So I was like, "Bitch, I'm making a stride for this company because, bitch, I don't be coming in early." So here I am, trying to get to work like 10:30. You know how early I gotta leave my house to get here by 10:30? Like, it was just becoming too much. And then y'all want me here later? I'm leaving the job 10:30, 11. No, no. Mm-mm. 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 I'm surprised I hung in there as long as I did. But I truly enjoyed, like, the culture as far as, like, my coworkers and shit. I made a lot of friends there. And I usually don't be friends with, like, my coworkers and shit. I, it was, like, the people that are cool as fuck. Like, I feel like it's because we there so much, like... We, we are here all the fucking time. So, yeah. Um, that's when I had me a little work boom. It's a whole lot of people, um, I'm 
just looking at this car like, don't you hate when you parked out in the parking lot, like, chilling, vibing, you the only car that the motherfucker want to pull up kind of near you, like, out of all these spaces in this parking lot, you want to pull by me. But, um, yeah, it's a lot of people dating at work. It's a lot of couples that have eventually led to marriage and shit like that. Whole lot of work scandals. It was a juicy tea at this job. Whole lot of good stuff. But ultimately, I have to do what's best for me in this season. Like, I thugged it out for as long as I could. And, like, I hung in there for as long as I could. And I had a lot of stuff to do. Like, I had a lot of issues with my car. I'm paying for that. I'm talking about my first couple months of the job. None of my money was going to me. It was going to, like, my car. And then after a while, I started saying, this is not it. I'm going to fight back. I was like, the least I could do is keep my hair dead. So I started to get my hair done a lot. Because I started just, I was feeling so, like, drained and depressed from the job. That I was doing stuff to try to give me a pick-me-up. And slowly but surely, I started coming back to myself. Like, getting my hair done really was making me feel, like, so much better. And I felt like that was the only thing that I had control over at that time. In that moment. I was like, the least I could do is get my goddamn hair done. If I'm making all this money with a job, you know what I'm saying? And I wasn't like no top seller at the company. I was doing pretty decent. There was people making a lot, a lot more than me, but I you know how you you know how life is. You gotta pay attention to you. Y'all, I really sat up there and ate up all that food. Like <laughs> ate up everything. I hope I don't throw up, Lord. Please just hold me. I got 20 minutes for this food to digest. My class started in 20 minutes. <laughs> Praying to God for a safe. That's the first thing I ate today. Why do I play like this? I played so fucking much. This is ridiculous. <laughs> So let's see how this goes. 